can I open the floor for questions or okay, any views on this question? You can share your view or questions. Nobody? We understand the principles that drive good democracy based on economic values, but if you see governments and leaders who do not have those values and we see injustices being done, what would be the Buddhist approach to respond to those kind of um, leadership, if you can call it leadership? Uh, very good question. Right now, in my country, <laughs> because the government claim to have Western democracy, they control parliament with majority, and they use all kinds of tricks to get votes, all kinds of false propaganda, and they have to link with the former prime minister who is a crook. <laughs> this is man, very clever. <laughs> order his sister running the country. In fact, I was one of those who challenged him when he was prime minister. And we shut him out of the country in the dumbing way, not very well. Really. But I made a statement very clear in the masses. Where's the democracy? When we accept, we have to obey. But if where's the democracy, that's a work in parliament. If they cheat people that use dummy principle, we have to go to the street and challenge them non violently. And we would have done that. You know, hundreds of thousands of people come now occasionally. But unfortunately, the king did not trust his people. The king trusts his generals more. The king allowed the general to make a coup d'etat against the Prime Minister. So we had very good cause that we were chuck out by the victory. So I think if you allow dummy principle, big demonstrations, non-violently, peacefully, I think that would be the right thing. And Gandhi did very similar thing. He challenged the British non-violently with truth. And the power of the people, that that's the way. They are doing that right now. Because they passed a new law of amnesty. So the former Prime Minister who got convicted for two years in prison, he can come back as a free person. And not only that, he took away a lot of public money, more than 50,000 million baht. He can more than money back. That's why people now, every province now, and Bangkok, half of Bangkok, and every university now, and I'm going to go back and join them tomorrow. <laughs> I want to maintain that we must always remain non-violent. We must always remain truthful. We must not do even dirty words against the Prime Minister. We must not do anything anger. But I think, that for me, that is applying the Adamic principle against the unjust uh, ruling. I give you a very small example in Burma. You know, I have been working with the, the Burmese for the last 15 years. And the monks have been talking to me. They said, Ajatula, you know, we have bad karma. That's why we deserve dictatorship. Since 1962, I said, we may all have bad karma, good karma, never mind. The Buddha said, the main thing is now, if we can restructure our consciousness to be powerful, we can change our habit, we can change our thinking. And with Kalyan Mitra, group of people talking, working together, we can challenge the government. And the monk did that eight years ago, what is known as the Southern Revolution. The monk came out the street, challenged the dictatorship, and they decided that only the Sutta. The Sutta said, uh, a mother, we need to sacrifice her life to protect her child. Let's do that for all the gentlemen. The monk recited that in the party, and they were 
were trapped, they were beaten, they were destroyed, and they keep on doing that. <coughs> now known as the Southern Revolution. And I think it may be one factor, not the whole factor, that changed the government to become more democratic. So I think don't 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 ignore the, the Buddhist elements. Not only running the country, but challenging those who run the country in the undamaged way too. What about the lady who started giving me this talk and you don't have to know how to handle a question? I asked a question to you already. Yeah, but your question is not relevant to this issue. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think a bit that you can't hear. She can be there. So, we know that um, we, that the ideal thing is to run the country um, in a dynamic way, um, you know, according to dynamic principle. But, but my question is, how do we get there? Uh, I, I tell you, what the Thai are doing is one example. But one, one is throw away the old power. How could they repair them? If they want to repair them properly, I think they have to, in my opinion, they have to go the way I mentioned. Look at looking at the Sangha as a model. And, and do what you Dharma, reconstructed your consciousness. These are a few elements which should, should, should be implemented. And then it will be possible. And for me, the Tibetan are doing that right now. Not perfect, but they are on the, on the, on the right track. And I hope soon, sooner than later, the, the Tibetans will go back to Tibet. This year, the first year, the Tibetans are allowed to have the Dalai photograph openly. First time. And at the same time, the Communist Party themselves is now Minority, yeah. Talking seriously to have dialogue with the Dalai Lama. And thirdly, the Chinese population, I don't know if you can correct me, feel that they have been cheated by the Communist Party. And they're now wanting truth more and more. And many of them have now also become Buddhist. But unfortunately, those Buddhists are still very much not engaged. Even in health and in some way, the good in China become more engaged, non violently. Perhaps we can have, a, we can have a, something more for the democracy in China. That man, you know, who uh, received the Nobel Peace Prize and he was not allowed to go there, he wrote a book, which uh, Walcott Hall wrote a preface before he died, and he said, for the Tibetan to be free, the Chinese population to be free too. And I'm pretty sure the Chinese will be free sooner or later. Because the Chinese have been deep down to Taoism, Confucianism, Buddhism for at least 2,000 years. But then they have been ruled by Federalism, Korean rule, and from there on become Maoism. And now from Maoism they go straight to capitalism, consumerism. But the Chinese have wisdom. I think they will come to that. Am I right? Yeah. You are. Uh, experts say so. I might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Thank you. Yeah, yes, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the speech and from Japan. And I have a question about not democratic thing. Um, it's uh, like developed countries like US, Japan, and um, European countries. I think people are really tired of uh, racing uh, with the uh, competitive capital market. So one person wins and 99 person will lose. So if you lose the market, it's kind of losers in that market. Then they're really tired of being competitive in that way. Then in Japan, I feel the same way, so I, I work for no one company, so I just compete, compete. Then I think Buddhism and the Buddhism temple create a big low in that way, but actually 
I has uh, I'm looking for what kind of things is really good for that kind of society and what is a good impact for uh, that like competitive capital market. And like, if you have any key 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 points to uh, get better society and market, uh, could you uh, give me a hint or key please? Your question is a uh, very very important. Because you have to realize that the Western concept, which makes the race feel superior to others, up to the so called discovery of America, Europe was even inferior to Asia, not only spiritual, technological, scientific. And scientific Europe, in fact, came mostly from the Arab world. But then when they felt they become more superior, it's due to two factors. Number one, the Newtonian physics. Everything has to be proved logically, which is also useful. But you rely so much on physical and no spiritual. I think that, that in a way kill you, the mouth, that they have no spiritual left. Because Christianity also lost its spiritual dimension. Secondly, the so-called new philosophy of the West, it comes to very big cards. Who said, come to the other for soon. I think that's why I am. So that's just what I'm thinking. And then come to the other for soon, and then the ego becomes very important. And competition has become important. And I have to overcome you, all of you, not a human being, even more than me. That's why industrial revolution is wonderful for England, but not for the English, for the top industrial. And they destroy all the environment in England. That's why they have to go out to India to get resources. They have to go to China to have market, and they use the gun boats. I think this kind of thing now. A lot of people are now realizing that. And particularly that these two or three decades, people feel that spiritual has to come. That's why Buddhism is not very popular in the West. But those popular Buddhism, again, is not getting engaged. But now, in the West, we have more than three we are here. The young people are not meditating. In the Berkeley, where, where Alan Zenuke came, he sits in here. Small city, 200,000 people. There's 60 meditation centers, Buddhist meditation centers, and also mentioned uh, Taoist and uh, yoga and so on. And people go to meditate every day, Sunday food. And we are trying to make them that meditation is not sufficient. It had, it had to be some meditation. Prime meditation, care for the poor. And luckily now, even mainstream university allow their students to have meditation and allow their students to come to meet the poor. At our meeting, there were two prisons in from, from, from prison. You see, and what, what they learn from the poor, the, 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 the West hope is they want to teach other. Now, what you learn, and what you learn from the poor, you see that the poor also have spiritual impact. They also have non-violent, they have to, I think, to take the chain. And I think that tremendous. And now, Obama doesn't work anymore in, in America. You know, the, 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 uh, the Wall Street challenging. So I think the, the present structure will fall. And I think if we have something more spiritual, I think America could be a, a lovely republic with a, a, a small arm, a capital arm. And it will not to be empire anymore. And that would also help. So the Chinese also want to be empire like, like, like the American. And if they do that, they will fail. Like the Japanese want to be empire before that. So they will fail. I think that if we have power linking back to the Cartesian concept, Newtonian concept, it's out of date. I think we have to go beyond that. And I think the young people in the West are doing that. 
And I think in this sense, we should also link the poor people in the West. They should learn from us, we should learn from them. The young people learn from each other. Spiritual death. Spiritual, you don't have to be religious. You don't even have to be Buddhist. The Dalai Lama says his religion is compassion. Let me tell you, one you care more for other. And to come back to my point, you have to restructure yourself, no longer self centered. We got others going on, and ultimately, to see the truth and going on. I think we will move to that way. And that will be the way to save the world. And I think the world will be saved by the younger generation. And by that time, we will become a teacher and we will become young again. Thank you very much. So that's my answer. Proud that we were not 